It was nothing like I expected. No, it was not even kind of. I thought I was going to be around a bunch of chumps all day who did nothing but sit around and pray and weren't normal and kind of weirdos. But you have some of that. I mean, I'm one of them. But the seminary is full of people who are very sincere. There's full of people who love God fiercely, who want to serve him and serve his people and love our Lord with all of their ability. I was always so nervous that I was going to be, that I was gonna receive enough from God, that I was gonna be taken care of in that way. If I, if I gave God everything, would he give himself to me? And so I was worried about that receiving end of things as far as the vocation. Should I do this or should I do that? But a vocation is not primarily about what we receive, but it's about how we give ourselves completely. I've been put in this pressure cooker that has caused me to overcome a lot of the things that I didn't see as ever being possible of overcoming. Things I thought I was gonna be stuck in for the rest of my life, I was gonna struggle with for the rest of my life. I wasn't gonna be able to see myself as somebody who could overcome that. And to the man I am today, I still struggle with a lot of those things, but I'm no longer a slave to those. I have a freedom. I have an immense love that's been given to me by this diocese, these people in this diocese, my brother seminarians. Being with people who are journeying towards heaven, towards becoming a saint, that's what it's that's what it's all about for me. And as a priesthood, is that my priesthood is not for me. My priesthood is a mediation of someone who is trying to make their way to heaven. And that's I would I would give my life for that. I would give my life that anyone would become a saint and go to heaven. I think it would be cool if every man went to at least one year of seminary. And I think that because you don't go to seminary because you're going to become a priest. You go to seminary to discern whether or not you were called to priesthood, sure. But it's also to form you. You go to seminary to become a more faithful man, to become a more well-rounded man, to find a maturity of spirituality. Whenever people mistake me as father, even though that I'm a deacon, it feels right sometimes. Whenever I just hear that come from out of nowhere, I'll just like turn and look and, and just look for those kids who need help, right? That's all that I want is to just be there for my kids, like any good father would do.